What's up guys, it's Anthony from Simple Tech Talk where I help you get the most out of your Android device. On this channel we go over product reviews, app reviews, and simple tips and tricks to help you get the most out of your device. If this is your first time to my channel, please consider subscribing. On today's episode, I'm excited to show you guys something really cool that you can do with your Android phone or tablet. We're going to turn those devices into a Nintendo. That's right, we're doing emulators today and how to set those guys up. So stay tuned and I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's check it out. All right guys, so excited to get this thing started. So the first thing you wanna do is go right to your Play Store, open it up, tap on the search bar up top, and type in NES Emulator. And you'll get a few options up top. You get a really cool one down here that I like to use. Honestly, the, interac the interfaces aren't gonna be too different. Uh, but this one's really nice because it has that nice touch that it looks exactly like the old school Nintendo remote tap on install this is actually a really good point to see uh, sometimes you see this pop up every once in a while it's okay just hit continue and then on the very bottom you just hit the word skip accept and wait for it to download that was all in real time tap open and now you're just gonna see a detail about your phone it's going to look very similar to the my files portion we're going to stop right here and then back out press our home button we're going to go into chrome open up a new search field and type in mu paradise it'll be the first option up top very simple thing that all you have to do on the very top bar it's going to say roms i isos and games Tap on there, wait for that to load up, and locate Nintendo Entertainment System ROMs. Tap on there, and here you're going to see a bunch of options, and you will notice that some of these guys here are very familiar names that we know and love. What's really nice is that you can tap on the search bar, just start tapping in. Super Mario Bros. Be sure to keep track of what's being said in some of these guys. So if it says USA, if it says uh, France or Japan, things like that, it will change the language. Tap on Super Mario Brothers. Scroll down a bit till you see download links. You're gonna tap on there. And here is going to give you a, sh a screenshot of what you were looking at. But right above that screenshot, it's going to say download. So we're going to tap on there. Once you get there, scroll up a slight bit more. And right where it says file size, download one more time, direct download. And now you see there's actual says downloading and we're going to tap on the open portion. It's going to bring us into our My Files app where it's already selected for us. Just make sure it is selected and we are going to extract. This is very similar to unzipping a zip file. Once that has happened, you can now back out. Go to your newly downloaded NES app. Open that up. And there it is. In most cases, if you don't find it, make sure to look. Make sure to look in the download folder. And we should see our options for Super Mario Brothers or Duck Hunt. Now you can press the arrows and they will work for you. You can press start. And now you can play your Mario. Stay tuned for more on how to get this going for you guys. Thanks again for watching.
All right, guys, I hope that video was very informative for you. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoyed the emulator aspect of your tablet or phone. Um, don't forget to bookmark that website so that way you can start downloading more games as you start to recall the ones that you, uh, you liked the most when they first originated on the Nintendo system back in the 80s. So stay tuned for my next review so that way I can show you how to get one of these guys and how to set them up and maximize those emulators that you downloaded today. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.